What's up everybody? So today I'm gonna to give you an introduction to an app uh, called Online Sequencer. And I'm just gonna show you around a little bit and just let you explore it for today. Now, this is Online Sequencer. Now, first off, I like this better than another app you may be familiar with, which is the Song Maker from Chrome Music Lab. This one's cool, but it doesn't have as many features as the online sequencer. And this is a great one that we can learn, uh, use to learn about creating melodies and things like that. So I'm gonna just give you a quick introduction to some of the features. Up here is the speed. So this tells you can enter a speed that it plays a song. Here are your three main options. Draw, so you can enter notes. This select, so if you need to select notes and change them somehow, so I can move them around if I need to. And then this one, which is erase. So if I hold the button on my mouse or my pad and I scroll over it, then it will erase whatever is selected. So it's a great way to quickly erase something. Now I'm gonna enter some notes here. Just some random stuff here. I'm just clicking on the screen. I can make those notes longer by dragging them out like that. And I can change the sound of them. So right now I'm using the electric piano. I wanna change the sound. Okay, so I'm going to select all those notes. Wanna change them to, whoa, we got a lot of them here. All right, this is kinda of cool. 8-bit drum kit. This is like the old school video game sounds. I'm gonna try that out. Let's hear what that sounds like. Oh wait, I forgot. It has to be down here. Those are percussion instruments. So let's try acoustic guitar. All right, just a random melody, so it um, doesn't work super great. What about electric guitar? Okay, I kind of like that. So let's go back. Say, I, I'm going to go back to that 8-bit sound. I want to add two instruments. I can do that at the same time. So I leave those as they are. If I just select a different instrument, now... If I go to draw, when I enter it in there, it's gonna keep the other ones and then do this one. So I have a, let's see, kick drum. I'm gonna create a pattern here. Think uh, Super Mario or something, okay. Oh. Which one should I do? I kind of like that one. Let's hear that so far. Whoa, I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna go to 100. Let's hear that. All right, I may have to change up that melody. Ooh, I can, you know what I can do? So I can change it to snare drum one, snare drum two. So you see, I'm, I'm just plugging in. In fact, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of make it random here. All right, let's just hear what that sounds like. Whoa, whoa! I like that hi hat sound. I'm gonna do it every single one. That is so cool. Okay, hey, we're creating video game music. My intent was just to have you explore it, but Gives you some ideas here. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna keep that hi-hat going the whole way. All right, let's hear it. Interesting, okay. I'm gonna fix this melody. I don't know if I like that, so I'm gonna select it all. I like the guitar sound, I can just press delete. I like the guitar sound, but I don't like that melody. So I'm gonna go back to 
electric guitar and draw. Okay. Let's see what that sounds like. Whoa. Okay. Well, you get the idea. So just experiment with this a little bit. Um, you can also save it. So if I go up to this little cloud thing, I select save. Link to the sequence. So here is the link. I click on it. And now I can go and... One thing I forgot to do is give it a title. So, Mario, I'm gonna call it Mario Jam. Okay, good. And then I click save and it updates it. So when I click on it, there we go, Mario Jam by Roger Koss. And I'll post this in the video so you can, you can check it out. The other thing you can do one last thing is you can explore ones that people have already made. So there's random ones and then there's popular ones. Uh, I don't even know what these are. Whoa, somebody made a Pokemon one. All right, let's check it out. Let's see if it's any good. So I click on it. Yes, I want to leave. I don't know if this is any good. Yeah, it's okay. Let's go to popular. Let's see what we have. Whoa, Doom. I'll let you check that out if you want. Ooh, the Castle Super Mario. Let's check it out. Whoa. can go that's really cool I guess I can go to this avid gaming and oh it has all the ones that they created Wow this is amazing you guys you guys really got to try this out uh, let's just try Super Mario underwater let's hear how it sounds <laughs> Okay, well, that's the online sequencer. Just, I spent more time on this than I had anticipated, but check it out. It's really cool. Just experiment with it today. That's all you have to do is just try it out and go see how you like it.